What is up guys, Lojo Fishing back at it again today with another video. We have a special guest in our video today, my beautiful, lovely wife, Holly. And she's going to be very, very important to the plot of today's video. Speaking of Holly, guys, if you guys want to see my wife, Holly, involved in the YouTube channel a little bit more, if you want to start seeing her in the videos a little bit, hit that like button. And if we can get, mm, how many likes, babe? How many likes do you think? 400 that's a little steep but guys if we can get 400 likes in this video i will make an effort to involve holly more in my little fishing shenanigans so make sure you hit that thumbs up button right now but back to today's video as soon as we leave here we're going to do a little fishing challenge the rules are simple holly is going to select three lures okay she's going to select a hard bait she's going to select a soft plastic bait and then the third one is just going to be her choice anything that strikes her fancy that she thinks might be hard to catch a fish with she is going to pick once she has selected the three lures it is up to me to catch a fish on each one of them we have not discussed this at all right babe not at all. we have not discussed this at all she is going to pick three lures that she thinks <laughs> <laughs> that I'm gonna fish with so guys let's follow her along very closely and see what she decides all right we're walking through the soft plastic section I'm a little nervous I gotta be honest I'm trying to use my mind melding powers to tell Holly what I like but she that's the, that's the best part is she has no idea what kind of lures I like so this is gonna be very interesting I I was looking at that I thought you might be drawn to that but well I, I certainly appreciate it Okay. Okay, so let's show it to us. Let's see what we're looking like here. So, like that. Zoom Baby Brush Hog Cajun Crawl. Okay, that's an interesting color. I've never seen that before. Though it's a limited edition color, that's why I've never seen that. And as it says, bass love them. So. Bass love them. Well, there you go. That's all I need to know. So, is that your soft plastic selection? It is my soft Okay, okay, we're okay guys, we're okay. That could have been a lot worse than that. So we're, we're in decent shape with any kind of a baby brush hog creature bait. Let's move over to the little hard bait section. Holly kind of got away from me over here, so I gotta make sure that we're not doing anything crazy. What is that? Oh, that's a giant whopper plopper. Oh Holy gosh. moly, that thing is huge. That's big. God, that's what she said. Okay, what do we got here? Show us. Well, okay, it's a lunker hunt. What is it, a popper? Okay, it looks like a little it looks like a little topwater popper. Yeah, oh my god, that thing is sick looking. Yeah, it's a popper. Okay, all right. I'm liking what we're doing so far, babe. You've got some great taste. This, These things could actually work. We might actually catch some fish in this challenge. Rough we might night. Be in for a rough night. It's actually called a rough night. Rough I wonder night. if that's the color. Okay, so that's our second selection. Now we need our special bait. So this can be literally anything, babe. Anything, anything that you see that catches your eye can be chosen. Well, it looks like you're kind of drawn to this section right here. What do we got going on here? Tackle frog, yeah, it's got the little got, floating feet. He's got red eyes. He does have red eyes. I don't kind of like that one. Okay. It's neat looking. Okay, so you've made your final decision yes. on the tackle sprinker. <laughs> Why is it so weird to say? Tackle sprinker. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this thing. So it's got blue feet, it's got like a red head, it's got squiggly underbelly. And it says catch, <laughs> kiss, and release. Catch, kiss, and Do release. Not mistreat the bass. Well, you know what? We should get it just for that alone because you should yeah. not mistreat the bass. So, so. I like the message. All right, so let's hold up our three selections here, babe, so we actually know what we're doing. Yeah. So we got the baby brush hog with the red color. We've got the tecker, sprinker, full hog, frog, <laughs> and the lunker hunt popper. Very nice. All right, guys, so the lures have been decided. Now it's up to me to go out and catch a fish on all three of these lures. It's gonna be a little difficult, but let's get out there and see what we can do. All right guys, so we made it out to the fishing spot. Holly went ahead and went home. She said the weather was just too nasty. There's rain in the forecast today. She did wish me luck though, so I appreciate that, my dear. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get rigged up real quick, see if we can complete this challenge. Got a couple top water lures in here I'm not too sure about this time of year, but we're just gonna have to roll with it because Holly chose the baits and now we gotta catch bass on them. All right, boys. So since it's a little earlier in the morning, we're just gonna start with the moving bait. That's gonna be the little tickle sprinker frog. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's crazy looking. It's basically just a topwater hollow body frog with a foot, like a paddle tail foot on the end of it. I'm sure that's gonna make some pretty cool action in the water. Let's just kinda put it out here and just see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that leg just kicks. You guys are not gonna be able to see it, but that leg just kinda kicks in the water, causes all kind of disturbance. So that'll be pretty fun.
Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh guys! Oh, it counts! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, guys! I saw that bass cruising. He was cruising right there. And man, he just came up and smoked that Teckle Sprinker Frog. <laughs> oh God, guys, that scared the heck out of me. Go on back out of here, buddy. Oh my God, guys. And he came off too. He came off as I was boat flipping him in. Look at my dang frog got destroyed. That's okay, because we're done with you. Boom, so one bait down. Next up is going to be this little Lunker Hunt popper that Holly picked out. Now this thing's got that red color too. That's really cool. Oh, this thing is cool. You can walk this thing pretty good too. Not my uh, most favorite kind of topwater lure. In fact, you could probably put poppers pretty low on my list. So Holly did a really good job of taking me outside my comfort zone <laughs> because we've never fished with a Teckle Sprinker frog before and poppers are my least favorite top water lure. So for not knowing what to pick, she did a really good job of picking things that I'm not comfortable fishing with. So good job, babe. We're going to put the popper down for just a minute and we're going to pick up the final bait. I see a bass over here that might be on a bed. And this last bait might be the lure that can get her off that bed. So the other lure that my wife chose was baby brush hog in this crazy like fluorescent orange red craw color pattern. So I just Texas rig with a little weight. Maybe we can use this to get this bass off this bed. I don't know. As far as bed fishing, I mean, there's not going to be a better bait than this. Oh, something's got it already. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, she came off. No. That was her. Oh, my goodness, guys. That was a freaking bass. The reason I didn't see her is because she was behind the bed. Oh, guys. Oh, that hurts my heart right there. Because that bass is not going to eat again. There's no freaking way. There's one. Got a lander. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, that's a better bass right there too. Oh, come on, stay on, stay on, baby, stay on, stay on. No, don't go that way. Come this way, come this way. <laughs> oh yes. I don't know if it was that bedding female, guys. We're gonna take it. Ooh, that's a much thicker fish right there. That probably is, probably is a female. Oh, look at that chunk right there, baby. Brush hog nice that's a much better fish it's a solid three and some chains right there very nice she's fat let's try not to stress her out too much let's try to get her back in the water nice and easy all right sweetheart you can go back to your bed there you go <laughs> oh boys i don't know if that was that bedding female because it was kind of well it had to be because it was right behind that bed oh guys whoo we redeemed ourselves. I thought I was done for when I missed the betting female the first time. I thought I was done on this challenge, but I have new life because now all that remains is the popper. That is the only thing we have left. We've got perfect conditions for a popper. Water is very calm. There's cloud cover. It's still morning, so it's low light. I mean, guys, we, we might be able to do this. <laughs> We might be able to do this. <laughs> and that female is already back on the bed and she's already chasing other fish off of it again. That's awesome. Oh, something's got it. <laughs> on the pause. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. God, it's a good bass too, guys. Oh my God, it's a good bass. That's a good, God, that's the biggest one of the day so far, guys. We've got to land this bass. This has got to be another bed and female from the other side. Oh, boy. Was not even paying attention. Gosh, she was barely hooked, too. Oh, don't do that, baby. Look at that tank right there, guys. 
Holy smokes, on the popper. All right, got her unhooked. Man, that's a beautiful four pounder right there. Got marks, scars all over her. Beautiful bass. Don't want to waste any time taking pictures. I just want to get her back in the water nice and healthy. She's a little stressed. There she goes right back to where she came from. She, I got her right off that point right there. Holy smokes, guys, how awesome was that? Guys, look what she did to my popper. She tore two of the treble hooks off of that dang popper. Look at that. There was three hooks right there, now it was just one. Holy moly. You know that's a hard fighting bass when that happens. All right guys, I'm all finished guys. We punched this challenge in the face. I was so worried when I came out here that I was not gonna be able to complete this challenge. Big shout out to my beautiful wife, Holly, who picked all these lures, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. She was not able to come out here with me, which would have made it a little bit more fun. But guys, remember, if you hit that like button and we get at least 400 likes, I will start using Holly more in my YouTube channel. Maybe even feature her in the next fishing challenge. I'm not even sure. But guys, hit that thumbs up button anyways for me being able to complete this challenge. So much fun being able to go out with Holly, letting her just blindly pick three fishing lures. Um, she actually picked three really cool lures, but one of them I'd never used before, and the other two I really didn't have a lot of confidence in. So it was a great challenge, guys. So much fun. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're new, it's going to be down here somewhere. Hit that like button like I already said. Guys, I love you. The channel's growing. Things are popping. Life is good, guys. Hey, I love you. You're the best subscribers on YouTube. Fist bump. I'm out.